And welcome back to our online viewers here on Eurovision Island in Copenhagen. We're on with our meet and greet with the next song, Israel, Same Heart. May Fangold, welcome. Thank you so much. How did your first, uh, yeah, big fans. I just saw your, your, your first rehearsal, very strong performance, I think. How do you think it, it went? It went very well. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Uh, there's a lot of changes, still needs to be done. It's the first time you see it, it's so, so exciting yeah. and uh, you have to process all the information and uh, we're gonna have next rehearsal in a few days and uh, hopefully it will go great so <laughs> as I'm well. I'm very interested when people say that uh, there's still a, a lot of changes so I don't want to know like what do you want to change? What kind oh, of things? It's changes of lightning mostly, uh, of angles, uh, not, not things that are um, you know, life or death situations. <laughs> of no. um, maybe a few dance moves. Uh, we, we didn't have the chance to sit. Or we're here with the entire crew, with Oz, the director, with Lior, the producer. We're going to have to sit down and talk everyone together. With Avner, the music producer. <laughs> I love these guys, I introduced them. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. We can't see them, but we, we believe you, they're there. Yeah. But, uh, well, I guess this is the interesting part, because this is different what, what, uh, from what, what you're used to. You've been on theatre, and you've also been on a, on a talent show, so this is a bigger scale, I think, or, or what? How, how is this different from, from the thing you've been... It's really exciting. Yeah? It's, it's more exciting, uh, I think, from anything I did in my professional life because it's, I don't know what to expect. I've heard so much, I've heard so many stories. Everyone told me how it's going to feel and I'm very emotional and I experienced it for the first time. <coughs> And it feels like nothing, nothing else. I, I do come from the theater. I do very big productions. I've done big music productions in my life. But, um, ooh, Malta. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they were just on a little bit ago, a while ago. Do you, do you see the other contest contestants and their performances? Yes, yeah, yeah? I, I've seen some of the performances, not all. I've heard all the songs <coughs> uh, this year. No, no problem. Do you need water? <laughs> Maybe I do, actually, yeah. Um, I, I've seen, yes. And, well, let's just take one of the uh, uh, Twitter questions from our users. It's on Ask Eurovision, uh, just hashtag Ask Eurovision and ask any question you want to. Just remember to state which country their question is for. And this, from, this is from the user Enrique Pagas. He wants to know, how did you get your strong voice? I'm in love with it. So oh, I guess you have, a, you. Yeah, you have like a powerful Enrique? voice, don't you? Yeah. Um, it comes from uh, my soul. I remember myself singing uh, since I was four years old. I'm performing on stages and I always loved very passionate music. Um, I grew up on musicals, which I loved. I'm, I'm the type of kid that was was in her room in front of the mirror doing choreography to 60 people <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and singing every, every musical I can think of. And uh, then when I grew up, I've learned rock and roll and, and there's the things that have a say, that have big passion and bigger than life, always talk to me. I don't have an answer why. <laughs> I guess it's in my personality. I'm a very passionate person. Um, so obviously I became, I became a very passionate artist and um, with a lot of power and I don't even think where it comes from, it just comes from the heart, hmm. basically. Yeah? Yeah. Any questions? Thank you for the question. Sorry? It was a, it was a good question. It was a very good question, yeah, very, yeah, Australia. Hi. Hi, my Alistair Birch from SBS Radio in Australia. Hi. Um, the Israeli public were shown three of your songs, I understand that, but they chose this particular song. Were you happy with the choice? I was very happy with the choice. Even though I loved, I truly loved all three songs, we chose them among more than a hundred songs we sat down and listened to. And um, they didn't sound like it sounds right now. Obviously, Avner Chodorov did the music production and we changed them a bit with, with the people that wrote uh, the other songs and uh, when we finished them I, I was completely in love with every one of them we, always, we also shot video clips so it became it, it became vivid it came to life and I loved every one of them 
And when we heard the three songs finished, we were all sitting together in the room, and when Same Heart, that was written by Rami Talmid, yeah, I was, I was <laughs> referred to it like it's my own song, it's Rami <laughs> Talmid's song. Um, when we've listened to it, when it was finished, everyone started looking at each other in the room, and it was pretty obvious that we thought it's the more suitable song for Eurovision, and when it was elected, I was more than happy. I was thrilled. I still am. <laughs> and when you say it's, it's good for Eurovision, I see you, you're, da you're gonna dance and you have two dancers. Yeah. Uh, how is that for you? Do you like dancing on yeah, stage, of course? very much. Uh, I do that also in the theater. I, uh, I always do very colorful uh, uh, characters that uh, dance and, and I love sports and uh, I love uh, doing physical things. And uh, it was just obvious when we sat down and we decided what are we going to do with the stage performance. It was pretty obvious that I'm going to move a lot. <laughs> we didn't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to move. And uh, that's what happened. But I guess that takes a lot of uh, you know, choreography and knowing not only what steps you're going to use, but also which cameras and stuff. And this is a big setup. Are you making it more difficult for yourself than you need to? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am, but it's more enjoyable. I don't like to do things that are easy. I like to challenge myself in everything I do in life. Uh, because life is more interesting that way. And uh, I love to do three things. I love to dance, I love to sing, I also love to act. So there's a bit of a character inside me. And uh, when I do all three things, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm, I'm having the best time of my life, which is the first thing I think every person needs to do, to have the best time of his life on the job, obviously. Sure. Any more questions? Yeah? Need the mic? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Farouk from France, Paris. Um, it's been uh, four years that Israel was not in the final. Uh, do you have the pressure? A pressure? Uh, three, don't, don't say four, four is me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the answer I, I expected. <laughs> do you, but of course you, you're, you're expecting to go to the finals, but uh, do I you know I would love it? to. Yeah? What, what are your chances, do you think? How are your chances? I'm, I, you know, I don't really deal with subjects that I don't have a sure answer for. Mm -hmm. uh, I do know that I'm doing my hardest work. And if I'll go off stage and I'll say to myself, yes, I nailed it. It doesn't matter what's going to happen next. I I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, obviously, when you enter a competition, you have to aim sky high. You have to aim first place. Even if it's not going to happen, it's a competition. You yeah. can't go in a competition and say, mm, I don't know if I'm going to win, because uh, you need to be fierce. Sure. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> That's a good attitude. And I guess let's turn this question around then, because we have a question from our uh, Facebook users as well uh, on our Eurovision Facebook. And this is from Matt. He's asking, who's your favorite artist so far? So we, you already uh, revealed that you've heard Malta's song, but which of all the songs are I've been, I, you can You can know that I've been asked that a lot. Of course. In every interview. Uh, yeah. uh, and I don't think this is the last one you're going to yeah, be. Yeah, but I do, I, I do have only one answer. I, I do have a favorite. Yeah? I do have a favorite. Um, but I do feel that because I'm a part of the competition, I don't think it's my place to take a stand because I haven't met all the guys, and the guys that I've met became really good friends of mine, and I'm gonna meet more guys, and I'm gonna see them live on stage, which is probably gonna change my opinion about the song, about the show. Um, so I promised everybody <laughs> that I will reveal my favorite after the, after the competition, because I wouldn't be able to live with myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I understand that, but maybe you could uh, reveal what kind of music you'd like, uh, which kind of, of, of performances you'd like uh, watching yourself and vote for yourself. You're talking uh, globally? Well, in Eurovision, I mean, what, what kind of uh, performances do you like to vote for yourself? Uh, I repeat the same answer. Okay, cool. Something, That's understandable. Some, no, 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 not that one. Uh, something that is going to kick me in the stomach. Okay. Something is gonna make me go crazy, and there's so many, yeah. <laughs> by the way. Uh, but the, the one thing that's gonna touch me inside the best way. Cool. We can. We have time for a last question. If anyone. Um, oh yeah, over here. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Morten Kaiser from uh, ecotimes.com. Welcome to Denmark. Thank you. Uh, 
Israel has a tradition of uh, singing in both English and Hebrew. What have uh, why, what are your thoughts about uh, your song this year, singing both? Good question. Uh, I think it depends uh, on the song. I think some songs are good in their own language, some are good in English. I think it really depends on the song and with Same Heart, uh, we had both, it was written both in English and in Hebrew and it felt really organic. It felt really good while the working process uh, and many people that heard it said it sounds uh, unbelievably flowy, if there's such a word. <laughs> so it was right for the song. I do think that in Eurovision, when you come from a certain country that has a certain language, you should use it because that's, that's the special thing about Eurovision, that people that come from all over the world, from different cultures, different languages, and it's a celebration of that. So uh, I, I do like when people sing in different, uh, in different languages. Thank and the you. audience like as well. We can, uh, what is the main message in Same Heart? What is that you'd like to come across? Uh, the uh, you know, I, I think that the brilliant thing about a song is that anyone can connect to it. If you ask me how I connect to it, I think uh, for me it talks about uh, woman empowerment. Uh, it's a story about a winner, about someone that has the demons of the past in her life and she's fighting through life to go over them and become a winner. And I do relate to the song. I fought many fights in my life, in my career, and I do feel a winner today. And that song moves me. So, uh, so that's, for me, that's what Same Heart is about. And uh, as we talked about earlier, you've been in the, the, the Israeli talent show, A Star Is Born. And can you use that experience in any way? The one thing I've learned most in the show is how to perform in front of a, of a camera lens yeah. and reach the audience, <laughs> which is a tricky thing to do because I'm used to perform on large stages in front of thousands of people and it's a different energy. You need to bring a very certain energy and I think I've learned that uh, on the show. You know, I've heard 170 million people are watching Eurovision. Yeah. It would be great to have them all in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> it would be crazy, but you have to do it through the camera. Cool. Well, uh, may, uh, I hope you enjoy yourself, not only in the Eurovision, but also here in Copenhagen in Denmark. Planning Thank you so to. much Thank and you. good luck. Thank you so much. And I'm having the best for, time. And thanks for watching at Eurovision TV. We'll be right back in an hour's time. That's 7 p.m. local time with Norway. Thanks for watching. Thanks.